This presentation is designed to provide you as a member of the Land Conservation Committee with information about funding available to support your county's conservation efforts. After watching the presentation, you will know more about the Soil and Water Resource Management Grant Program administered through the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. These grants provide funding for county conservation staff and to cost share conservation practices installed on private land. Conservation funding in Wisconsin is available from federal, state, and local governments and from private non-governmental organizations. State sources of conservation funding come from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection, or DATCAP. This webinar is designed to provide you with information specifically about the conservation funding available to counties through the Wisconsin Soil and Water Resource Management Grant Program, known as SWARM, and administered through DATCAP. The SWARM program is a reimbursement program that pays counties back after conservation funds are spent. This training focuses on funding the SWARM program provides to all 72 counties for conservation staff and landowner cost sharing. All counties may apply for these grant funds using a single application process and form. You should be aware that a separate application must be submitted for grants related to nutrient management farmer education training, also known as NMFE grants. Counties do not usually qualify for cooperator or project grants, which also require a separate application. The Staff and Support Grant supports your county staff positions that are dedicated to conservation activities. Typically, the funding covers the cost of one staff position and often a portion of a second staff position. These funds may also be used to pay for limited support costs. Grants also provide funding for installation of a variety of conservation practices, including practices to address soil erosion and nutrient management and manure management on a farm. The amount of funding received by each county varies and is determined through the state allocation process. To be eligible to receive grants through this program, counties must have a current land and water resource management plan approved by DATCAP. So, how does your county get a grant through the SWARM grant program? Counties make an application to DATCAP each year in April. The grant amounts awarded are determined through an annual grant allocation process. Before we talk about the grant application and allocation process associated with the SWARM program, it is important to understand the source of the money for the grants. Funding for the SWARM grant program comes to DATCAP through the state budget process. The state budget is a biennial budget, meaning funding is set in two-year cycles. Funding for SWARM grants come from three different appropriations. The General Purpose Revenue Fund, segregated funds from the non-point account of the Environmental Fund, referred to as SEG funds, and general purpose bonding authority. The type of funding determines how the funds can be used. For example, bond funds can only be used by counties to cost share brick and mortar projects, such as manure storage facilities and stream bank restorations. The bond funds cannot be used for nutrient management plans and other annual practices. Counties prepare grant applications for multiple state programs administered by DATCAP and the Department of Natural Resources each year. The SWARM grants are just one of the programs that provide funding to support county conservation efforts. The two agencies review the county applications specific to their grant programs and prepare a plan to allocate available funds. This plan is known as the Joint Allocation Plan. The funding decisions are based upon a number of factors. These factors include maintaining staff and project continuity and county priorities identified in the land and water resource management plans. Other factors include statewide priorities, such as projects targeting impaired waters, discharges to the waters of the state, the need for nutrient management planning, participation in the state farmland preservation program, and soil erosion control. Once a first draft of the allocation plan is prepared, it is presented to the State of Wisconsin's Land and Water Conservation Board for review. Copies of the plan are also sent to all 72 counties for review and comment. The final version of the allocation plan is then presented to the State of Wisconsin's Land and Water Conservation Board. The board makes a recommendation to approve the allocation plan as presented. 
Following the board's recommendation, the plan is signed by both the Department of Natural Resources and DATCAP. Once the plan is signed, the agencies will enter into or update the contracts with the counties. As a member of your county's Land Conservation Committee, you have the following responsibilities in regard to staffing and cost share grants. Make sure the county has an approved land and water resource management plan. Submit a timely and accurate grant application to the state to receive funds. Review the preliminary allocation plan and make comments if necessary. Enter into contracts with the agencies to receive grant awards. Spend the money allocated to the county and request reimbursement from the department after the funds are spent. We hope that this presentation helps you to understand a little bit more about the SWARM grant program and how it helps to support your county's conservation program. Please get in touch with us at the Bureau of Land and Water Resources at the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection for additional information.